We need now to turn to our third-party extensions and reinstall them for the Joomla 3 site. Going to the Extension Manager, and some of our extensions are going to be available to install from the web. So in Joomla 3, we can choose to add this Install from Web tab. And we can simply look for, oh look, here's JCE right, <laughs> right in the top. But we can look for each one that we need. So JCE Install. We don't have to go off to the developer's site and download the zip file and then upload the zip file. We don't have to go out and to the developer's site and download the extension and then upload the extension. We can install directly over the web for some of the common, for many of the common extensions that we might want to use. We've installed the JCE editor. Next I'm going to look for Akiba Backup. which is here. I'm going to install that. It was successful. Tells me that Akiba has been installed. I also use admin tools from Akiba. It found it. There's this sort of extra step after it locates the installation file, then you have to hit that install once again. And the last one of my extensions that I think will be found here and that I can just do in the easy way are the extensions from no number. And we'll install their extension manager. Now all of these, we've, we've brought nothing over from our Joomla 1.5 site about how we were using these or how they were configured. So all of that will have to be revisited. I'm going to go into our system global configuration and specify JCE as our default editor instead of Tiny Mice. And I'm going to go to the No Number Extension Manager and install Add to Menu, and Modules Anywhere. I'm also going to install Articles Anywhere. So these are little modules, not full components of themselves, and the No Number Extension Manager lets you manage your installations. When there's updates, you can update them right from within this. So that was pretty easy to get those uh, admin tools, Akiba Backup, the JCE Editor, and the No Number extensions. Our next bit of work is going to be a little bit more involved because we have extensions that are available for Joomla 3, but require some database manipulation to make the migration, to bring the content that we had stored in databases in the Joomla 1.5 site, to bring that over to Joomla 3. Before we get involved in migrating those other third-party extensions, I want to take care of that missing image in the branding area of the site. Having installed the JCE editor, I'm going to come back into the module manager to that date module and replace the markup that was stripped out by the tiny mice. I'm going to choose to toggle the editor and put in that span. Save. And when we go to preview the site, we've got our image. So again, this was in that empty span is all about a, an image replacement technique that instead of just displaying the date, displays this image for anyone who has access to images.